From the pile to the furnace. When you burn coal for power, there's always going to be some kind of pollution. Federal regulation has gotten the air cleaner, but what you're left with is ash. And in North Carolina, there's plenty of it. We have over 100 million tons of coal ash that is contaminating rivers, surface water, groundwater. There are three major utilities in the two Carolinas. Two of the three have agreed to clean up their coal ash. Duke is the only one that has refused to. Frank Hollemans with the Southern Environmental Law Center, the group whose lawsuit now forced Duke Energy to clean their ponds up. The utility company has released their plan saying they will move most of the ash to lined landfills. But is there a better way? We decided to see how it's being done by our neighbors to the south. Over our whole system, we have 11 million tons of coal ash. At Santee Cooper Power near the coast of South Carolina, ash is being reused. Every situation is unique. We benefit from having close proximity to the customers who can use this ash. Now, all of this used to be wetlands, but it's now one of seven of Santee Cooper's coal ash ponds. It's 169 acres and holds 1.7 million tons of coal ash that they're in the process of removing. But first, you've got to dig it up. Tractors load the ash hundreds of pounds at a time into a giant sifter. Grass and sticks are taken out and the ash is sorted by size. Larger chunks get thrown in again until it's about the consistency of dirt. Then it's hauled off to here, where the ash gets recycled. A lot of people just dispose of the ash, but from our perspective, it's a tremendous resource. Jimmy Knowles is with the CIFA Group. The company has developed new technology that allows them to recycle wet ash from ponds. Even though it's not hazardous, you need to handle it properly. So if we are able to beneficially use the material to produce concrete or use it in plastic or paints or things like that, then it's not available to cause any harm. Here they treat the ash, burning off contaminants like carbon and making it usable for construction. So after the recycling process, this is your final product. You can see it's a much finer, almost powdery fly ash, and it actually makes concrete stronger and more durable, and it's used all over the state. They load it onto trucks then haul it off to concrete companies. They mix it with water, sand, and cement. Then it's off to the work site. And in South Carolina, it's used on roads. So WNC investigates checked the numbers and found more than 19,000 tons of recycled fly ash was used in North Carolina construction projects last year. In fact, our state requires fly ash to be used in bridge construction. A bridge that might last 50 years with its enhanced with fly ash, that same bridge might last 100 years. Santee Cooper admits digging up pond ash isn't cheap. We are estimating the total cost of all of that will be about $250 million. But it is a solution environmental groups and the power companies can agree on. Importantly to us, it also benefits our customers because for Santee Cooper, this is the most cost effective way for us to deal with this byproduct. Even if it took 10 years to do it, every day that goes by, you're a little bit safer. The state of South Carolina is going to be eliminated from the threats and dangers of coal ash ponds. And we feel the people of North Carolina deserve the same. For the latest WNCN uploads, subscribe or click here.